Another brick fan here with a new Batman set. This is Batman. This is set 76182, was released in April 2021, has 410 pieces, no minifigures, and cost about $60 when it was released. This is the first DC character that has been done in this brand new helmet or bust style. As you can see, this is the Batman cowl. It does have this very nice printed piece down here where you see the Batman. And then if we move up, this is super dark. So add a little more light in here. And you see this is the kind of face area where Batman's face would normally show through right here. And this is done with some trans, what I call trans black, or I guess the official name is trans brown, the transparent dark or kind of smoky color there. And you can see that's clear here in the front. And then there's also some clear pieces that make up the stand. So it creates that effect like it looks like a cowl. The eyes, I think, are re I mean, obviously they're really white against the black and probably a little bit too big, but I think there was some pretty good shaping done in this figure anyway. I think it does look pretty good here in this. Of course, all black, nice, nice peaked ears here. I do like the way this shaping was done. The nose piece here was done pretty interestingly. It's got a couple of peaks back here, and then it clips in another set of peaks that kind of go up underneath this forehead piece here. So it makes for that really prominent nose look. I think the bottom here, the the base of that cowl turned out quite well. It's done with a bunch of clip and rod pieces. Moving over to the side, you see a lot of this nice shaping. They even used a Technic Techno Knight shield piece here to kind of add some more contour, break up some of the studs that are here. A few other plates down here. This nice kind of shaping here for the ear, which I think turned out quite nicely. Here is the back of the helmet, as you expect, nice, quite a bit of studs here on the back of the helmet, and then a plate here, and then a couple of slopes up here on top. This is all stud on the side construction, as you may expect from all of these helmet pieces, if you've looked at any in the past. This one obviously is a very solid build for the back here. And you see all the structure here on the inside. But these fit nicely right back in there. It fits and works pretty nicely. The other side here is done the same. It was, it was done on the side we just looked at. Again, nice peak here. And if you notice, there is slope in the back and slope on the outside. So it does do a very nice peak here. Being all black, this is going to pick up a lot of dust or lint or animal hair, whatever you happen to have in your house. So this is going to be something you're going to need to, to dust off quite frequently. I think overall the look turned out pretty well. I mean, as you lower the light, it does darken up pretty quickly. This is one of those pieces that I think looks better the farther away from it you are. You get a better effect, I think, for this cowl if you keep it a little farther away. When you get up very close to it, you start seeing some of the imperfection. At least there's some gray in here, which obviously is not matching up with the cowl look for Batman. The eyes get much bigger. You know, you see those white areas in here. They're much more prominent. But I think the techniques used to get all of this shaping worked out really well. And like I said, this does look really good as a display piece. On to the pricing of this helmet. So this comes in at the same as most of the other helmet sets at $59.99 or $60 US. 
which is very consistent, although this does have fewer pieces. So kind of like the Stormtrooper helmet, I think it would have been nice to have seen this at, say, 49 instead of 59 So $10 less would have been a little nicer, in my opinion. But there may have been some licensing concerns, or maybe they just wanted to stay consistent with a $60 price point. Obviously, the price per piece is going to be on the high side. 410 pieces is for $60 is well above the $0.10 cent per piece, pushing $0.15 cents per piece. So that makes it a little bit expensive if you're just looking at piece count. But as far as the aesthetics of this and the way it looks and the way it fits, so it is in the same theme as all of the other helmets or cowls or bust, whatever format you want to call these, because there are a couple others that are busts, like uh, Carnage and Venom are two more that are not necessarily helmets. But they all fit in this same kind of style, and I think they all look really good as display pieces and certainly look good as a collection. The uh, five Star Wars ones that have been done to date all look really great, all lined up next to each other. So I think there's a lot more opportunities moving forward here with the superhero theme. Lots of them wear masks and cowls and all of those kinds of things. So I think there are a lot of opportunities to see some more helmets from, hopefully some from the DC universe. There's quite a few more from the DC universe that could be done as well as from the Marvel universe. So I expect to see a lot more of these superhero styled helmets or busts in the near future. Hope you've enjoyed my thoughts on this Batman set. I really do like this Batman cowl. And I'm going to get going on my next video. And until then, happy building. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button and be sure to subscribe to see more of my content. I've left a link to a couple other videos you might like up here on the screen.